You might have to come pick me up. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome to part three of the tank boat build. I know it's not a tank yet, but I just love the name. It's more of a boat cart right now, right? Boat cart. The problem is we're already pulling this caster out of the back of the boat. It spins just fine with no weight on it, but then you get the weight of the boat and then a weight of the person in the boat and it doesn't want to spin anymore. All the bearings are gone. Before we launch it in the water, we want to redo our uh, brake handles and also add a throttle cable and a cover for the torque converter because when I turned that thing hard uh, the other day, I, I just slid right into the torque converter. And it, I mean, it didn't hurt, but it wasn't comfortable and it could have been really bad. I'm building these levers. They have a bit of a mechanical advantage. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna weld another bolt right there for the cable to attach to. And when you pull it, it'll, Pull the brake tight. Yeah. So while Ike is finishing up the brake and steering levers, I am going to tackle this back here. So the new plan is to take the block of wood that's on the other side of this fiberglass out, cut another piece of flat bar just like this, sandwich it on the other side, and through bolt it, squishing it together. So that way when the bolts try to rip out of the fiberglass, it'll have more surface area so it'll be less stress. So we just ran out and bought this all metal caster. It should hold up quite a little bit better than our plastic one. The problem is it's shorter than the plastic one. The tank boat only had about two inches of ground clearance in the back there to begin with. So what I'm gonna do is take some square tubing, cut a piece and use that as a spacer between our caster and our mounting bracket here. So here's our new caster contraption uh, and it would have looked really good, the welds anyway, if I would have let it cool, but I didn't wanna cook the bearings. Uh, so I, I cooled it off a little faster than it should have. So we got the good old trusty tub and tile silicone here again. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm... Oh yeah, that's plenty. Yeah. Our caster is aligned and level. It's time for the final welding. That should do it. So now all that's really left is a throttle, throttle. pedal. Yeah. Cool. You're going to handle that? I'll handle that. That sounds ugly, but I don't have it. Uh, it welded itself here. I didn't have it hooked up to here. But it's good enough. What do you think? I mean, if it'll work, man. It'll work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the uh, throttle cable up here and then to the engine and there's going to be a hole in this pedal right here. And so when you hit the gas and it's got enough weight, it's probably not going to move around. It's not going to really move around much. But we can move it from the front to the back depending yeah. on where we're sitting. So I just got through the uh, throttle pedal and it is remote. It's going to be moved from front to back. works. We're going to test it in the driveway before we go to the water just to see how easy these are to use. So if they work just fine, perfect, we're going to load up and hit the road. But if not, we're going to come up with some kind of revision for them. So do you need a helmet or a life preserver? That is a good question. Or both. I'm going to go with neither. <laughs> Frank me? Yes, sir. You ready, young man? You got throttle. <laughs> Looks like it's working really well. <laughs> oh, it, it, it'll skip teeth if you get on it hard enough. What? It'll skip teeth okay. if you get on it hard enough.
Is that this thing scoots forwards and it'll hit and yeah and the bolt hits the uh the hole okay. so you can't actually hit the gas uh we'll happens. put a board in front of it okay that works for me yeah uh this Easy. thing is perfect isn't it though other than liking left turns way better than right turns i mean i'll live with it it's fine yeah we'll, we'll just kind of maybe favor more left turns than right turns uh, yeah I, I guess i don't care this thing is uh ready to go man let's let's go for a road uh river test <laughs> That ought to do. So our rope holders are cooling and we're coming up with some quick and dirty fenders to keep water from getting on the engine, in the boat, and on ourselves. Check it out. Pretty dirty. It is not the perfect solution, but it's been raining almost all day. It's supposed to rain later and it's only drizzling now. So now's our chance to put this thing in the water if we want to today. So we got our fenders attached. I think you did a nice job. Probably won't hold, but. No, um, I'm having I mean, flashbacks of last time whenever I was on a $50 go kart and I gave it a lot of throttle and it's just raining down on me like a hurricane. And it, it, yeah, and the uh, engine died. And the engine died. That's the biggest thing, trying to keep some of the water off the engine. Yep. Oh, uh, speaking of water inside here, do we want to bring a cup or something to bail with? So that is, that's the sailing position yeah, right there. Yeah! <laughs> so, Whoa, Nick! <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's quick and it's dirty, but it should get the job done for turning and things and stuff. You ready, man? Yeah, man. Let's do it. All right. Oh man, this thing's full of ants. Full of ants, full of ants. Let's go for the other one.
Yep, put all that weight on that axle, dude. Dude, if it does it. Hey man, I think if we had a boat ramp like a real one, I'd be okay. Lance, yeah? congratulations. Thank you. Epic win. Really? I mean, it moved under its own power decently well. It wasn't a speed demon. I'll get you, bud. I'll get you, bud. Oh, you're getting it. Less gas! Just like our first amphibious go-kart, this boat cart has a little bit of a learning curve. You can't just hop in it and sail where you want to go. But if your body weight is balanced correctly and you have the right amount of throttle and you have the right amount of braking, it actually moves really, really well. It's not a speedboat, but it was never designed to be. Tank boat phase one is slow, but it moves reliably and decisively where you want to go. Coming in full speed, ladies and gents. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but there is. This thing's pretty solid, man. Yeah, I, I found out out there. That I, I was telling you to slow down with the speed. Yeah, I was taking it, in a lot of water. It, you're for one, you're taking in water, and two, it seems to react better to low speed. At lower speed. Huh? I think what's happening is the wheels turning so fast it's cavitating. Okay, so it's like smoothing over almost. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Hey, man, will it do a burnout? Oh, I don't know, will it? It's not worth it. Tank boat phase one uh, was an epic win, I think. It couldn't quite get itself out of the water, we're probably gonna go do another test with like a more gradual decline into uh, concrete, the water, yeah, and concrete. Uh, I think that'll really help us get in and out of the water without uh, an issue or without help, but I think it did really, really well. There is a learning curve on riding it, but once you get it, I mean, you just gotta find that right wheel speed and you gotta lean the correct way, mm -hmm. but it'll actually move. Yep. I mean, it's not like fast, but like, that's pretty good. Yeah, like it's definitely moving under its own power. It's yeah. not like just the just the current or anything. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let us know uh, if you thought this was gonna be a win or not, if you thought or if you thought this was totally going to fail. Remember, the only water coming in was from the tires kicking it up. There was no water coming in from the axles or with the uh, caster in the back. So that surprised me. Yeah, uh, so, uh, we were taking bets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for future updates. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fun. Yeah, and support the channel by picking up some shirts and stickers at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. Next time you're going to see Tank Boat Phase 2, where we actually turn it into a tank. I hope.